Hello, my name is William Waters. I'm Joshua Waters. I'm Christopher Waters. And today, we will be interviewing our mother, Frances Cudjo Waters, for Talk To Me with the Huffington Post. Today, too, that we ask our mother a few questions that have been on our minds. Hey, Mom. Hi, William. How are you? Doing great. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, I've got a question that I'd like to ask you today. What are some of the small things that you've done either for yourself or a family that you believe have the biggest impact? What are some things I've done for me or family that have the biggest impact? Um, well, I'll start with me. So one of the things that I really try to do is to not get caught up in all the madness of mothering these days. I think that um, you guys have peer pressure from your friends to um, do certain things. Well, I have peer pressure too from other moms who are totally stressed out all the time. Um, you guys have no idea what it's like, but one thing I've had to do is not allow myself to get sucked into this sort of craziness. Um, a lot of parents, we all adore our children, but for whatever reason, I tend to be part of the the generation that we call the helicopter mom parents, like they call us helicopter moms, um, because we feel like we have to manage every little thing. So one of the most important things that I've done is that I've made a conscious decision not to buy into that. So I don't freak out if you guys are not doing the same exact thing anybody else is doing. Um, I decided we weren't going to do five different sports in one season and to have you do five lessons and drive across town, all over town. I sort of opted out of the helicopter mom thing. Um, I thought that like your educations were super important, so I do sort of think that's really important. I make a lot of time for that. But I decided I was not gonna be crazy and I was gonna give you guys some space and independence. And I was gonna sleep when I needed to sleep and get rest when I needed to get rest. And there would be days when we just go hang out and do nothing. And some of those were some of the best days I think we had when we did nothing. So um, that's the biggest thing I did for me was I rejected the idea of being a helicopter mom and I rejected the idea um, that I had to be stressed out all the time. Um, so that was the biggest thing for me. For our family, I think the biggest thing I try to do is just really like love you guys the best I could. Just to, to love you um, and I hope by loving you and you know, your dad and I showing you that, that you would feel that love and that would give you a peace in your spirit, a peace in our home. And so I think the biggest thing I tried to do um, for our family was just um, be really loving and patient and kind, I hope. <laughs> That's what I try to be crazy. You know, sometimes we all go a little crazy. But in general, I tried really hard to just kind of let you know how amazing I thought all of you are and uh, to love you just like good. And uh, yeah, to just let you know every day how amazing I think you are. Um, and sometimes you guys always say to me, oh, you say that because you're my mom. But uh, I say it because I believe it and I want you to hear it from me. Um, and I hope that you feel it in yourselves. So I just try to really just love you guys the best I could. Thank you, Mom. What's something big that you know now that you wish you know that our age? I guess there are two things I would say. One thing I could say is that I wish I knew that um, as stressed out as I might be or as bad as something might happen to be that day, that it's going to be okay and that it will pass um, and that 10 years from now it probably won't matter. Um, so on those days when I had a test that drove me crazy, I was totally stressed out about that or um, there's a relationship that drove me crazy or the friendships, all the things that are really, really important. Um, I wish I'd known that if something went wrong, it wasn't the end of the world and that things really would get better really, really soon. Um, and I think the other thing I wish I'd known is that um, I think at your age you're trying to make friends and, and be with lots of folks and there are lots of things the media is telling you and your friends are telling you and I think I wish that I really realized that who I am is enough. Like I don't have to try to make myself into anything else, I don't have to try to be like anybody else and really I wish I really realized that being uniquely me was the best thing I could be. So not trying to blend into a crowd, not trying to like fulfill anyone else's expectations of who I should be. I wish I'd known that who I am is totally unique and is more than enough. And uh, I hope that all of you guys will realize that really early on too. Because the sooner you realize that you don't want to be like anybody else, you get to be extraordinary for who you are. Thanks, Mom. So Mom, if you have one wish for me and my future children, what would it be? That's a very good question, Christopher, a very deep question. Um, it's so hard to even think about you having a future children with you be my baby, but you're right. Uh, what would that wish be? 
I have so many wishes and dreams and aspirations for you and your brothers. I um, wish so much for you. But if I had to pick one thing, I think my wish would be for you to be happy, to be truly happy. Um, I want you to live in a world where you're not judged by being a black young man, where people assume they know who you are. I'm amazed at how three different boys have totally different personalities. And the idea that people would think they know who you are or shortchange you for the extraordinary young man you are based on the color of your skin or what they assume they know about you from stereotypes breaks my heart. So I'm praying you live in a world where that's not the case and where people really judge you for who you are and where they just want to get to know Christopher because you are just amazing. Uh, so my wish for you is that you live in a world where you get to be your extraordinary self and you're judged for who you are and uh, that you truly allow yourself to shine and glow and grow into who you are and be happy. Uh, I don't want you to be caught up in sort of trying to keep up with other people as well or that you feel like you've got to be like anybody else. I want you to be happy and I think that if you just allow yourself uh, to find the things you love and to explore new things and to take on new challenges, I think if you allow yourself to do that, you are going to be amazing and you will be happy. So that's what I, that's what I want from you. Thanks for answering that question. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. Make sure to watch all the videos on how to make, on how to post. Oh, this is obviously the best. Well, Christopher. <laughs> Thank you.